everyone. Today we're going to be looking at the CP1H um, PLC by Omron. And this is a small controller that packs a very uh, big punch, as I, I would say. And what we're going to do in this video is look at the hardware itself and see what uh, we have here. Now the CP uh, 1H is part of the CP1 family which consists of the CPL and the CPE. The E is the um, the uh, smallest version and the L is the next one and then we have the H which we see in front of us here. And on the H there's a we have a built-in analog I.O. which are right down here. We have pulse outputs which are for the R outputs here. We have inputs um, that are uh, interrupt. Uh, we have uh, pulse catch um, and we have uh, high speed. So the, the counters, the high speed counters, we can have four different high speed counters on the standard unit. And we can have, we can actually output pulses four axis on the standard unit itself. So if we take a look at the set at the unit, um, you'll see here I've uh, there's underneath the cover we have screws on either side here and we can remove our termination board or our terminal board when that comes off. Put that aside. And the same with our bottom we can remove um, that board and there we go so that comes apart underneath the um, so we can pre-wire everything uh, with our terminal blocks and then mount everything back up again underneath the one cover on the top here pop that open we'll actually have our battery now our battery is a lithium battery and it backs up our, our RAM our data points that are in there um, so if you want to remove that you remove it unplug it and you have five minutes uh, because there's a built-in capacitor in order to hold that in um, so you don't lose anything and it's a great idea write your date right here um, so write your date right in the cover of when you're to change it next the other port here is your peripheral port. This is a standard um, printer port from a USB connector. Um, you can see it on the USB and you just plug it in and then that is strictly for programming only. Then underneath here what you will notice is that there's a little poten potentiometer. It's a little uh, dial that we can use a screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, and turn it up or turn it down and it will give us a um, a reading in a register. You can also see that underneath here we have a little connector. That connector can go to a, um, a another pot, an external potentiometer, and it will give us an analog reading in um, another register within the unit. We also have a series of dip switches. This controls whether your memory is uh, protected or not. It also can control some of the communication boards and the default settings on those boards. So on the communication boards, we have, um, we can add two um, communication boards, one here and one here. These are cover plates that they come standard with the unit. We can pop those off. And what you'll see is there we have a connector right here that then connects whatever communication board we want on there. You also notice you have a, a two seven segment LED displays. Again, we can display error messages, product code, um, anything we want with those uh, units. You'll also notice that under here where I have on this particular unit built in analog and these built-in analog units are, are push button ones. But again, these just pop off and we can pre-wire those units and then plug them back in when we're done with our wiring. 
to the left hand side or sorry to the right hand side we have an expansion unit that pops off and you can see the connector there and we can take our expansion unit um, that we have and we can plug that in this particular model is just a um, a output module it gives me an additional uh, 16 outputs to run so we'll just put that back over there here we go so you can see that everything's accessible everything is nice um, as far as mounting itself we'll take that away if we flip this unit over what we'll see is it can be mounted on DIN rail and these clips here they will pop up and when they pop up um, you can easily put those right on the DIN rail and then you would snap them back into location and for your convenience as well you'll notice at the bottom on all four corners um, we actually have mounting holes so we can mount that directly to the panel on the end of the unit we'll actually have the actual model number itself along with the specifications we'll also have a version number and a lot number so this is important when you're looking at um, updating your uh, information within the PLC so that's it for now and if you like this video would like to see more there are three ways in which you can help us out first of all you can give us a thumbs up on this video so other people can find the information you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel at the end of the video you can also go to accautomation.ca and subscribe to our website a notification will be given to you every time we publish new content to the site and at the same time since you signed up you'll also get access to to two free ebooks on numbering systems and robust data logging. And the third thing to help us out is to tell a friend or colleague about the site. Thanks for watching.